Hello and welcome to Robot Carnage, Complete Carnage, our third and final episode. We have some more machines who want to earn a place in Series 2, and we even have a fantasy battle of robots from the Classic Wars. Now let's get the action started. These two bots were in the last series but fell short in the heat. Azure and its crazy driving battles Penance with its weapon which falls off constantly. Both faults claim to be fixed, and whoever wins this gains entry into the next series. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. And we have another qualifier, Azure moving off first, slamming it to the wall. And Penance now has that vertical spinning disc. This looks far more impressive than what they had before. Trying to push Azure around, but Azure is not the easiest machine, especially not to get into the pits, so Penance is going to have to rely on its weapon to cause as much damage as possible. Knocking Azure over, slamming in, but it can self-right. Penance is going to have to keep on top of it. Spinning circles around each other, Penance getting that disc in, into the wheels, maybe try and break them apart. But no such success, leaning onto the wall, but it can self-right. Not a lot of control, unfortunately, from Azure, and not as much either from Penance. Still wobbling around, Penance has the disc up to full speed now, hopefully looking to cause some severe damage, but Azure is not easy to get a hold of, it is still wandering around, <laughs> spinning on its axis, and in goes the weapon, and oh that was an excellent pit in there! Using the struts of what's holding the disc to grab Azure's wheels and push it down into the pit with a great piece of driving, well done! To penance, and they have made it into series two without a problem. Cease. A more powerful weapon gives penance the victory. Sadly, we have to say farewell to Azure, who put up a decent brawl nonetheless. Next up is our next challenge belt holder, Disco Inferno, with a fresh campaign to begin with, and starting with Rotator. They met before, so this also doubles as a grudge match. Rotator managed to upend Disco Inferno after some lucky swipes at their weapon. A precise hit under the disc stopped them from progressing forward. Rotator want the belt. Disco wants revenge. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. A battle with two meanings for the price of one. I've been so looking forward to this as Disco Inferno spins, gets the weapon up, takes a charge, and completely missed a rotator, and there goes a couple of pieces went flying! Where did that come from? They both came flying off of Rotator! Disco Inferno are really showing they are not to be messed with this time! Rotator coming in, getting both discs fired up, they want the belt. Disco Inferno wants to claim its revenge. All problems sorted, although maybe driving needs a little bit of work. Disco Inferno doing a bit of a spinning trick, full on defence, Disco Inferno managing to defend himself but Rotator is constantly coming in, the discs bounce off one another, and a bit of a pushing match, getting pretty close to the pit, and another piece of went flying underneath the top disc of Rotator, it is severely damaged now, and I'm not sure if Rotator is going to manage to hold on, and they're trying to get under the wheels, Try attack the wheels of Disco Inferno, Rotator are trying everything it possibly can. Get underneath the disc again and attack the top as well. Try and cut the belt maybe. And I throw that Disco Inferno to the pit! Oh what a surprise! They were doing so well and they've ended up wedged onto the pit! And Disco Inferno are trying to hang on but Rotator has managed to knock them in! Rotator has claimed the belt from Disco Inferno! And has won the grudge match at the same time. The belt now has a new holder with Disco being pitted and Rotator managing to steal the win. They will get the chance to earn it another time but our night continues. A test of control and agility now with two control bots. Trapdoor and Petrify want to impress so let's give them their moment to shine. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. 
activate! Immediate charge from both machines. Want to get that first initial grab and see who can get underneath who first. Petrify with a one claw, Trapdoor with a two, and Trapdoor nearly went into the pit! Some bad driving there, especially for a control bot. And Petrify have managed to get into the back with that claw, slamming Trapdoor into the side walls, trying to cause a little bit of damage internally, and nearly into the pit! Petrify edged Trapdoor in, but they brought the claw down, and as Petrify lifted, Trapdoor held on for dear life. And the fight continues. Nice bit of style from Trapdoor. But it seems to have a little bit more open spaces for Petrify to grab hold of. Even though they are managing to keep away from danger. And Petrify is the one slamming into the walls now. Both edging towards the pit. Petrify is a lot too close for comfort and grabbing onto the back of that lifted device. And I don't think, you know, Trapdoor can't get away. Petrify are holding them with everything it can. They won't be able to use that grabber unless they let it go, just like they are. Petrify are definitely winning the ground game. Trapdoor will need to come in to the side or the back if it wants to have a chance. And I don't think once it's gotten a proper grab off Petrify, it just seems to be running around a little get of a little game of catch and mouse. Petrify definitely winning the ground game. That plate on the front is so low, it's almost plain in the floor. And Petrify edging Trapdoor into the pit and it's finally in! With just a little bit of persistence, time and eye control, an edging Trapdoor so it would go into the pit itself. And then finally bringing the claws down. And it's Petrify that win a place in Series 2 guaranteed. Trapdoor we'll see you again soon. Cease! Just what I expected from two grabbing machines. Trapdoor put up a fair fight, but lost due to Petrify's pure dominance. And now we move on to the last fight of the night. Two machines from the classic era come together for a fantasy matchup. The constant need to impress Disco Inferno return to face off against the already impressive Mousetrap. Both bots looking to put on a show, so let's let them do battle. Roboteers, stand by. Three. Until the final battle begins, Disco Inferno spinning up its weapon, completely missing Mousetrap. Mousetrap coming in with a slam, almost hitting the blade. Mousetrap coming in, trying to get from the back and slamming that bar on the top of Disco Inferno, trying to grab it, maybe cause some damage on the inside and bring it down and stopping the disc temporarily, but the disc is much to get back up to speed again. Mousetrap winning the ground game, Disco Inferno slamming into the walls, backed into the corner. Coming away again, is something wrong with Mousetrap? Nope, they're okay. Mousetrap definitely doing all the aggression here. Disco Inferno just seems to be running away, running up the front of Mousetrap. No real damage being sustained by either robot. The blade coming down onto the top of Disco Inferno. And again, and they're just running along the walls without any real attack given, pushing Mousetrap up to the other side. And I think something's happened to that mousetrap like a weapon. No, it's okay. It was stuck temporarily, but it's okay just now. Disco Inferno doing a mad spin. Not really an awful lot of controlled movement, especially from Disco Inferno, but mousetrap are definitely the more controlled, the more aggressive. Not really the most damaging. There's no real damage seen on the top of Disco Inferno where the blade has landed. Maybe just trying to get them underneath. And Mousetrap have just driven themselves into the pit! After all that control performance, they eventually take themselves out by driving forward, getting one wheel stuck over the edge and ending up in the pit. And Disco Inferno have won another round, another fight, another victory. Cease! And that concludes tonight as the Disco still lives on while the Mousetrap will need to be reset. We've had grudges settled, challenges attempted, and newbies looking to qualify over these three episodes. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more bots, battles, and continue the love for robot combat. We'll see you in the next one, and good night.